Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create table in HTML. So let's say we've created table in where we give student name, their class, age, and their CGPA. So in order to create a table, we need to use the tag called table, and that table has an opening and a closing tag. So in a table, we have some table row. So for it, we need to say here TR. TR means table row. So inside a table, at the first row, we have table headers. So we write table header like this, T is opening and T is closing. So inside it, we write the table header, whatever name we want. Let's say it will be student name. So let me have multiple TH here. So let me just copy this and I paste it two times. So this one will be student class. Let's just say class, this will be age. And this will be the CGPA, student's EBA. If we now save it, and if we refresh, there you can see we have some table header. But it obviously doesn't look like it again, but don't worry, we'll fix it. So for each table header, we'll have a certain data. So let me just give another TR for the table data. So we we'll say get TR tag. And inside this TR tag, we'll keep the table data. So let's say get DD. TD means table data. So we have four table headers. So we are going to have four table data. So let's say the first student name will be Adam. The class will be let's say class nine. Age will be sixteen, and CGP will be let's say three point six five. If we now save it, then refresh here. There you can see we have Adam. Let me refresh here again. We have student name Adam, class is 9, age is 16, and CGP is 3.65. So let's say we'll have a different color for the table header. So for it, we just need to say that inside this TR, we can say PG color, let's say it will be sky blue. If we now say refresh, then you can see it become sky blue. And if you also want color for the table data as well, you can again also say PG color and it will be let's say gray or you can say light gray. If we say then refresh, then you can see it become light gray. And for the four table, if you want a different background color, you can say PG color, let's say it will be black. If you now say then refresh here, then you can see it become black. And if you want the border size to be a little bit bigger, then for it, what you can do is that you can say border, let's say it will be 10 px. If we now say, then refresh, then you can see it will look like this. And then you can see each table data, I mean each table header to different size because the student name is bigger. So what you can do is that you can write it default width for each table data. For example, okay, instead of 10 px, let's say here 3 px. For example, here for the table header, we can say width, it will be 150 px. If we save it and if we refresh, there you can see its width is bigger right now. So let me just copy this width and I'll paste it for each table header. So every table header will have same size. If we now refresh, there you can see. Every table header has cell width. There you go. So if you want to start up to be in the center, all you need to do is that inside the tier tag, you can say they are aligned, it will be centered. If you now save, then refresh, there you can see the data is in the center. And in a table, we have normally multiple data. So for it, if you want to write multiple data, you just need to copy this tier tag. Then paste it here and this time list of Adam, let's say here Smith, class will be let's say 10, age will be let's say 18 and CGB is 3.05. If we save, then refresh, there you can see we have one more column. If you want more column, just copy that the attack with the TD. Then paste it here, then give different name and different data. Let's say Yamin, class is 12, age is 20, and CDP is 3.32. Let's say, refresh, and there you go. 
So this is how you can create table in HTML. I hope this was easy for you. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.